Information is all around us. It's anything you can learn something from, whether it be news, facts, numbers, images, or text. The information you end up using depends on the task at hand. For example, if you need to drive somewhere, you'll likely read road signs or listen to navigation directions. For more complex information needs, you'll likely evaluate the information you find. Does it answer a question you had? Is the information accurate? What perspectives or values is the author trying to convey? There's no one way to evaluate information, and information isn't always good or bad. Before you decide to use an information source, it's helpful to think about how and why the information was shared. First, think about its purpose. Is it trying to inform, entertain, or persuade you? Who is the audience? What kinds of evidence does the author use to support their claims? Whose voice is represented? You might come up with other considerations, too. Here's an example. Maria read a news article about a tenant who sued their landlord for not letting them keep their emotional support animal. Maria wonders what makes an emotional support animal different from a pet. She does some research and finds a lot of websites that claim to certify emotional support animals, but there's so many she wonders if they're just trying to sell her certificates that may or may not be legit. She also found an article from Psychology Today. This article answers her question about the difference between pets, emotional support animals, and service animals, but it only presents one author's perspective. The author is a white man who has an advanced degree. He wrote a popular book about happiness and pets, but he may not be an authority on the subject of service animals. It's important to note that a source can be authoritative if the author supplies reliable or trustworthy information. This is different from an authority, which is someone who has influence or power within a community. For more authoritative information on what qualifies as a service animal, Maria might want to consult information from an authority like the U.S. Department of Justice that cites a relevant section of the American Disabilities Act. Social media and the internet has also given a voice to the people. Maria saw a video on TikTok that shows someone who brings a service dog to work. You might think of TikTok as a platform for entertainment, but it can be informative too. The audience would be anyone on TikTok, and the purpose is to inform you of someone's daily life. Someone with real-world experience may be considered an authority on the topic since they are citing their personal, first-hand experience. Maria learned in college that she should only use peer-reviewed research articles for an assignment to help her understand a scholarly conversation. These sources present research findings on a specialized topic to a research audience, but they aren't the only type of source out there. She might also look to other credible information sources to help her learn more about a topic, especially if there aren't assignment requirements. Your thoughts, feelings, and opinions can be shaped by a variety of information sources. It's also helpful to remember that the quality of evidence needed, and when you have enough information, varies depending on the topic. You might trust a local news outlet for the weather, but require additional sources if you're making a more consequential decision. It's up to you to determine if a source is right for you.